I, I am furious. I am absolutely irate. But I and, think, I think and you... when I also see the Auditor General's report of only a couple of years ago, when the Auditor General said those poker machine licences should have sold for over four billion dollars, and Labor yes. sold them but for nine hundred million. But that is they another cost issue. It, well, it's three billion dollars that the taxpayers of Victoria lost not... because of the mismanagement of Daniel Andrews, who was a gaming yes. minister at the time, and the former Labor government. But, but, I am furious. But that is another issue. Well, that it's is, part uh, of the do, same... Do you, I, I just find it a bit frustrating that we, we can't say that the responsibility is at least shared here. There's a contract entered into by the Kennett government, of which you remember, which now comes back to bite us because the Labor government mucked it up. But I would argue that you're both culpable here. No, because the normal contracts have uh, provisions in them. Pretty that, generous. Well, no, I don't think they were generous. They were normal provisions. And if the Labor Party hadn't have changed the policy, hadn't have changed fundamentally the policy of management of electronic game machines in the right. state, we would not have lost the three billion dollars the Auditor General said they lost, and we would not be facing this court decision and the consequences of it. This is wholly responsible to decisions made by the former Labor government and Daniel Andrews okay. was Minister for Gaming when this whole process started.